flag in the air. We're underway. Great start by Clint Boyer, and that opened up the door for Kyle Busch to drive down on the inside of Austin Dillon as well. Those trucks come off turn two, one, two. Ron Hornaday jumped right immediately down to the inside to get that inside line there. He's going to ease up there in fourth spot. Let's take a look back at that. Now, this is that lap I was talking about. It looked to me like Ryan Hornaday bounced off the wall. Watch him. That's the blue and white truck. He's going to ease out here against the wall, and he does catch that wall just a little bit. Look maybe with a right rear corner. He was in, headed in a bad direction early. You could tell that truck just wasn't turning, but uh, he left his foot on the floor and got a little contact with the outside wall. Caution on the racetrack. Caution track. on the racetrack. It looks as though the 10 has a tire going down. He's chasing Mattioli. The right front Let's is go. gone. That's the second one of those today. He, yeah. he cut a tire in practice earlier today. Uh, give me uh, two rounds up on the track. Let's watch, watch Austin Dillon charge up to the back of Ron Hornaday. Has to lock the brakes up and veer to the left to avoid Ron Hornaday. And then Matt Crafton locked the brakes up to avoid them. Watch this now. Let me tell you why this happens. The line. All this green. this All is the how competitive here. these guys are. You get every inch everywhere you can get it, and they were diving to pit road. Green flag back in the air. Clint struggled a little bit there on the on the initial start, but you know where you can really make that up, Rick? He got down to turn one. He drove in really deep and got all the way up beside Hornaday. So wasn't a good start initially, but he got a rolling in a hurry. I remember that right side tire has a lot more air in it to start with than the left side tire. You... Yeah, it's flat. Yeah. Oh, there oh, it went. problems for Travis Quapple. We saw the left side damage on that number five, and now the caution has come out. Get the wall there, Roman. Nope, nope. Just got to clear it's everything. Put some tires on there. I'm going to see if he can do a little bit better start here. Working their way out of turn four. Green flag goes back in the air. Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, one and two. Here comes Hornaday. Will he make it three wide for the lead? He's going to get to the inside. Kyle Busch gave him the inside. Hornaday trying to steal second away from Clint Boyer. And then Clint Boyer flexing his muscles as he goes through the dog leg on the back stretch and into turn three. Welcome back, Lucas Oil 150 under the third caution of the night. And this time it was the five of Travis Quapple once again having tire issues. This time he hit the wall just a little bit harder, so they continue to work on that truck. The 18 of Kyle Busch and the two of Clint Boyer still one and two. There's a five of Travis Quapple had already cut that right front tire down, made some pretty significant contact with a safer barrier. What a what a tough day for Travis Quapple. On the gas, it's Kyle Busch and Clint Boyer. A drag race down the front stretch into turn number one. Look at Ron Hornaday force his way to the inside in front of Matt Kraft. Kyle Busch, the preferred line, able to stay in front of that two of Clint Boyer. Oh, we got a spin in turn four. Contact. Yellow's out behind. Max Pappas behind you. involved. He's able to pull away from it. B.J. McLeod there, bottom of your screen. The 07 has a lot of damage. He, uh, it, I, I think believe, he yeah. hit the 77. Of, is that just? No, that isn't it's just. The 7 of Miguel Paluto. Uh, Those trucks look just alike, except that one has one less 7. <laughs> Or he's going to be able to get the advantage from the outside. Now we're seeing the 13 of Johnny Sauter tuck in behind that 88. Then you've got the 30 of Todd, Bod Todd Bodine running in the sixth position. Here comes Austin Dillon in the three. Look at the inside. Good side-by-side -side battle with Timothy Peters. Whoa, he's going to oh, spin it out. goes the 30 of Todd Bodine. There you go. Oh, hard hard contact. contact. David Starr is involved in it. Still coming. Also the oh, Dusty Jane of the Dusty three, Davis. Davis. That was just enough for Kyle Busch to squirt out in front of him. Now look at side by side for third. Sauter and Hornaday. Where have we seen this before? <laughs> yeah. Synchronized spinning at Kansas. That was the most fun I've seen at the out of the trucks. Those guys were so desperate, and so determined. Looks like they got that same attitude right now, side by side. Yeah, laps winding down. We're starting to see it all the way back through the field. Ricky Carmichael back in the 18th spot. Oh. He's on the lead lap. Got we got again. problems with the 62. Brendan gone into the wall. Austin Dillon looks to the outside of that 88 to try to take fifth away from Matt Crampton. Justin Johnson, the 51, is going to try to follow Austin Dillon to the outside of the 88. Justin's proved all day long. He doesn't mind going to the top side, so that isn't anything new for him. Cole Witt right there, too. I'd like to see all these new faces battling oh, to the trouble. top 10. Big contact. Ricky Carmichael, as well as Parker Kligerman, 
That was a huge crash. Parker had just been in the pit for Perry. That was Perry. ridiculous. Pin blame. He jumps to the inside. It looks like the, the four had already committed to go to the inside of the 30. I think Parker Kligerman drove it into a hole maybe that wasn't wasn't really there. I think that's a good call, Phil. Green flag back in the air. Kyle Busch on the inside. Clint Boyer on the outside. Bush with another good restart. Yeah, white flag. That's the red 50. One more time around for Kyle Busch. Pretty good separation till this battle back here for the seventh spot with Crafton and Johnson. Bush, Boyer, Hornaday, Sauter, and Dillon, your top five. It has been a two truck race tonight. The 18 of Kyle Bush and the two of Clint Boyer coming out of turn right. number four. All right, we did it, boys. Good job. Woo! They definitely did it, dominating at Phoenix International Raceway. Here comes Kyle Busch out of the Dollar General Toyota. He gets a shower. Sparks begin to fly. The confetti's in the air. Kyle, the statistic that they're telling me is 25 victories. You're the fastest person to ever get there in any of the NASCAR's top three divisions. Can you savor this moment? No, it's... Uh... It's pretty amazing, and it's been that way for a long time. You know, I've got a lot of great people that have stood behind me from the beginning, and, uh, you know, those that are with us here tonight with uh, Rick Dryling, Ellen, Amy, uh, the family there, and having those guys here, Laura Rutledge, everybody from Dollar General. These guys are uh, phenomenal to work with. They're fun to work with, and uh, I love getting them to victory lane. They're so fun. But uh, this Toyota Tundra was awesome, man, and the results showed that, you know, we just uh, we had a really good truck. It, I was scared of there in the beginning. I was like, man, it's going to come down to like last fall. Clint's going to walk the dog on this one. But uh, Rick and Eric, Eric made some changes to this thing and really brought it to life. So it was just phenomenal. And uh, yeah, I can't say enough about combos, Flexco, Triad, Joe Gibbs Driven Racing Oil, um, Camping World, the series. Great, great fun to come out here and race into these guys. And congratulations to Hornaday bringing home a, a good third place. I know he's battling for some good points, but. Um, Again, you know, uh, electric sunglasses of fans. I mean, it's cool to come out here and, and win in Phoenix. It's kind of the West Coast. I'm a, I'm a West Coast boy, so this is neat for me. Second race of the season from Phoenix International Raceway. In the top two in qualifying, both broke the track record. Clint Boyer looked to be very strong early, but the race off pit road went to Kyle Busch. He ends up getting to victory lane. Must have been some pretty good adjustments on pit road by Eric Phillips and that whole team because when Kyle came off pit road the first time, he was gone after that. But he had to survive restart after restart late in the going. If he makes one mistake, Clint Boyer is right there to jump on him. No mistakes. Kyle Busch drove away and won the race. Totally flawless. These two guys dominated the race. As you mentioned, Clint got the, got the lead early, led a good bit, and opened up about a second lead over Kyle Busch. And then when Kyle beat him off pit road, he was never headed. And, and just perfect on the restarts. He absolutely never made one mistake on a restart. It seems like you have to be a veteran to do well at this racetrack, but we're also seeing some young guys look pretty good now in the Camping World Truck Series. Really excited. We've got a great youth movement. Cole Witt, who comes back from missing the race with his own truck last week at Daytona, jumping in another truck, getting a top, 10, uh, top 15 finish, finishes sixth. Justin Johnson, in his first ever Truck Series start, finishes eighth. And then we had another young driver, Joey Coulter, in a RCR truck, his second start ever, and he finishes ninth. Three young drivers, three young rookies in the top 10. Well, just outside the top 10, we had Brad Sp Sweet and um, another cat, Mc Nelson, Nelson Piquet, Piquet Jr., Jr. A, a guy that I barely remember his name because he just came <laughs> over, just got over to our country and started racing these trucks. But you're right, Phil. That's what's fun about this. If you want to win at Phoenix, you do have to be a veteran, like you said. But you need to be in a KHI truck or a Kyle <laughs> Busch Motorsports truck. That's what gets the job done here. But fun stories to follow all year long, watching these young cats get up to speed and battle for wins. And how much fun are we going to have on our next race in a couple weeks at Darlington? Should With be a Casey Kane in the field. Yeah, absolutely. That that will be a Saturday race. You want to make sure to tune in here on Speed.